1-800-291-CN, Kansas City. Gospel 1590, 106.1 FM. It's 9 o'clock a.m. Welcome to the Morning Glory Show. Turn your volume up and let the word to God pierce the soul. 1590 a.m. on your radio dial and 106.1 on your FM, pal. Thank you for tuning in to the Morning Glory radio broadcast with Drs. Adam and Adrian Blackstock of Glory Bible Fellowship International Church. Sit back and get ready to receive a word that will transform your life. Good morning, good morning, radio family. This is a day the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We have a special guest, no other than Bishop Eric Morrison in the studio with me today. Amen. So I want to let you know that Wednesday night Bible study, we will continue our Bible study teaching with discipleship down the road to discipleship, 7 p.m. Uh, very interactive for the adults as well as we have breakout sessions for all ages from one to age 18 for our next glory youth ministry. Amen. So please join us. We're going to have a special um, guest um, for our Sunday message for Black History, for our African American Heritage um, Day, which will be the 20th, I think it's February the 25th, we will have Pastor Rodney Williams will be our guest speaker. So come out, wear your African attire, amen. We start at 10.30 a.m. I'm excited. And one night with the King, with Prophet Adrian Blackstock, will be March the 15th and 16th for women only. Bishop said, I got to make sure to tell you, women only. So no man can show up. Um, the information is on my Facebook page as well as on the GBFIC app where you can get your registration and get your room um, taken care of if you want to stay the night to be with one night with the king. This is a very intimate environment. It's not conferency. Amen. We're going to be one night with the king. Well, Bishop, 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 how are you doing um, this morning? I see you guys out there on Facebook. Please share this video. Amen. Um, we it's, um, The call you last night was so good, baby. Call you. I was, I was actually praying, and the Lord says, call Bishop Morris and have him to be on the radio broadcast. And so I want you to introduce yourself in the church that, you, um, that you're over and then I'll share with you what the Lord said to me just this morning. I, I will bless you, uh, Prophetess Blackstock. And uh, yes, this is Bishop Eric Morrison. I'm the senior pastor of Kingdom Word Ministries located right there on the corner of 33rd and Cypress, 3301 Cypress Avenue. And i uh, been there going into my 23rd year now and uh, have Amen. just enjoying jesus and i i was about to go to to the website and register for one night with the king uh, uh, bitch you had to make sure i said no. <laughs> all right i need one night with him will you hear me so uh <laughs> you said all women i was like oh okay we talking about we in black history month that's discrimination right there, right? <laughs> <laughs> so uh but other than that i'm blessed and thank you so much uh prophetess for having me on with you this morning i'm honored and, and humbled by it thank you amen amen i want to give you what the father i you know was up very early this morning but then you know as i was up and all of that i went into like a a, a trans vision um mm -hmm. sleep and so when i what he said governor those are the words he said to me. So I went to my Bible and mm -hmm. this is what he said to me from Haggai chapter two. Amen. I want you, I'm going to read it so that you can get in your spirit. And you can go back and dissect it. And then we can, um, for this here is, is, is personal to you, but also it is also for us as a people. Cause I love when, when, when God speaks God, right. When Jesus yeah. speaks Jesus um, mm -hmm. through his word, we don't have to try to figure it out. Amen. And yeah. so Haggai um, chapter two, and this one, the heading says, we call his first glory. It said in the seventh month, in the month of the 12th day of the month came the word of the Lord by the prophet Haggai saying, speak now to Zerubbabel, the son of Shiftel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Jehoshadak, the high priest, and to the residue. Bishop, to the residue of the people, saying, Who is left among you that saw this house in her first glory? 
Mm. And how do ye see it now? It mm. is not in your eyes in comparison of it as nothing. Yet, now be strong, O Zerubbabel, says the Lord, and be strong, O Joshua, son of Hosadak, the high priest, and be strong, all ye people of the land, says the Lord, and work, <laughs> work. I believe you got a bit coming up, work. For I am with you, says the Lord of hosts, according to the word that I covenant with you when you came out of Egypt. So my spirit remains among ye. Fear ye not. For thus says the Lord of hosts, yet once it is a little while and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. And I will shake all nations and the desire of all nations shall come and I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. The mm. silver is mine, the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. The glory of this latter house shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, says the Lord of hosts. That's going to verse 10. And then he says, is this, this I'm going to give you this, this piece here out. Um, afterwards. And again, the word of the Lord came to Haggai in the fourth and twelfth, twentieth day of the month, saying, Speak to Jerusalem, governor of Judah, saying, I will shake the heavens and the earth, and I will overthrow the throne of kingdoms, and I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the heathen, and I will overthrow the chariots and those that ride in them, and the horses and their riders shall come down. Everyone by the sword of his brother. In that day, says the Lord of hosts, will I take thee, O Zerubbabel, my servant, Bishop, the son of Shiftel, the son of the Lord, and I will make thee as a signet. For mm -hmm. I have chosen thee, said mm -hmm. the Lord of hosts. Mm -hmm. Those are the words that he spoke to me in mm -hmm. reference to you this morning, in reference to the people in the land of the state of Missouri and of the greater Kansas City area now i i had to give you what lord gave that was the lord's business we weren't even i didn't even have any of that <laughs> and yeah. we said yes so yeah we yeah yes 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 yeah yeah prophet is uh it's uh uh the the bible declares the bible declares that the sons of Issachar knew the days, the times, and the seasons. Uh, they could discern them days and times and seasons. And uh, 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 and we are very familiar with climate. And matter of fact, we become we become uh, the regulators of the climate. Uh, we the one that controls the thermostat. Uh, if it if it ain't right, we control the thermostat, and 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 uh, uh, engage and and remove and build back up. That's the call upon the kingdom today. And so, uh, uh, when God even spoke to Moses, said, "I'm raising one up among you." God God raises up among us, and I and I feel this in the in the in the spirit and in my heart right now is that a lot of times we don't even have to look out. Can I give you a quick testimony? Yes. Uh, uh, Sunrise Baptist Church was looking out, looking out for a pastor when Reverend Hamilton died. They were looking out, and God, through Sunday school lessons and everything, was saying, hey, I got one already in the house. <laughs> I already had one in the house. I mean, through at the Sunday school lesson was all about David during those uh, uh, 11 months we were at without a pastor. I mean, every Sunday school lesson, message, all of it. But they they didn't want to hear it because they, they, they is traditionally to look out, you know, outside of what you have in your own house. My God. And and so the re, and so God raised me up in that place. And it's being, re, you're reminding me through his word that this is a season that God can raise people up. Here's what we here's what we embrace, prophetess, and I know I'm a, we're gonna be tagging back and forth. Here's what here's what we can be assured of is that this time 
we need leadership and not managers, right? Uh -huh. Because see, we keep on we keep on uh, uh, voting out and voting in another manager. We very seldom vote out a manager and vote in a leader. Managers know how to keep things the way they always were. Come on now. That's what a manager does. A manager comes in and, and is told, make sure now, now what people do is shift things around and say it's new, but all they did was just kind of shift things around. But but in all actuality, they just they just maintain things the way it always been. We've had a plethora of, of, of managers. Even Paul said, I feel the presence of God right now. Paul said, listen, you all have many instructors. Y'all got a whole lot of instructors. Y'all like instructors, but fathers you have let. You don't have no fathers. Mm. Right now, the father is a leader. And we have seen our cities. We have seen our state. We have seen this country managed for years. Now, God got to raise up his leaders. And those leaders, now, leaders take risks. Leaders go forward. Listen, leaders change things because they know and we know, prophetess, that right now our country suffers because of the lack of servitude. Amen. Amen. Say that. Say that. And and Bishop, once again, and I want you, because in you know what it says about your event that's coming, I want you to be able to share with the greater Kansas City area, those that's not even here that are listening from all over, for you can put prayers behind this man. The, he kept speaking to me, the king, the priest, and the prophet. And that's what I shared. The king the priest and the prophet. Now you are a king, you are a priest because you are a pastor and overseer and yes. you are a prophet. And yes. God is calling you and giving you a commission to yes. run for governor. I want yes. you that this is what the father, I told you even last night, I said this is what the father keeps speaking to me about the king, the priest yes. and the prophet. And, and, that, and prophetically that kingship represents government and represent even business and this is where in the church we miss this component right we got the priests and we understand the prophets but we leaving out the kingship represents as well not only you men to walk in their kingship right but yes. prophetically the king represents government and business when we bring all those together we will see the change of a nation we will see the change of a community in the name of Jesus. And yes. this is what God is doing in this season. So share with the people what, what you have coming up and how can we support? Well, bless you. Thank you again, uh, prophetess. You made one word, one word you, you, you said off the cuff was call. And that's what, that's what this is. I'm not inspired to run for governor now. I ain't wake up one morning talking about I want to run for the highest seat in the office. But I did say to the Lord during COVID, when we were going through COVID, I said, Lord, when we come out of this, it's no way that I'm getting ready to let, I want anyone that does not have a revelation of who you are giving me leadership. Come on. The blind leading the scene. That's illegal. But somebody Woo. doesn't even have a revelation. Say it again, the blind leading the scene. Trying to give me leadership and I can see. How that, how that look? And so God... <laughs> God in that, he confirms even more that this is a call that I place upon your life. And so that's why I am, I, I'm, I'm grateful to the Lord for this, but I'm more grateful because he surrounded me with people that also have like passions, love God, fear God for such a time as this to move into the capital of Jefferson City and uh, into the mansion and give leadership to a state. I'm grateful to God. So on the 24th of this month, on the 24th of this month of February, the Black History Month, uh, on the 24th at 2 p.m. at Memorial Church International, at Memorial Church International at 2 p.m., we're going to have a Kansas City launch. We launched in August of last year on the steps of the Capitol, and and but and since then God has equipped the, our campaign with some some uh, people that have worked on a national level in 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 presidential campaigns. God favored us with these people, and they're saying, "Hey, we're gonna do. We want to do a hometown launch with you, and move the camp and begin to move the campaign." So everyone that is listening to my voice right now, that trusts the Lord. That, that knows the anointing when you see it. When those of you that, 
truly believe that God can raise up a person that, that does not have to go through a political science, get a political science degree, that does not have to be a businessman for, for a successful businessman for 10 years, does not have to be an attorney of law for five years or study law for five years, because that's what we're going to get. That's we go and get businessmen, we go and get attorneys, and we go and get uh, uh, people that have degrees in, in political science. I'm, I'm, I'm not de denouncing none of that, but what I am saying, we got to quit limiting God to just them and begin to see that God can take a man who's been serving people for over 30 years to go into that place and continue to serve people under the anointing of his power. So on the 24th at 2 p.m. at Memorial Church International, 114 Two four Hickman Mills Drive. We want to play. We want to pack that place out and and making us make a statement that this campaign is a legitimate campaign and the candidate is legitimate because he rests under the hand of the mighty God, our mighty God and the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. So we're going to be there. Um, you can follow um, Bishop. His name, his name is on the Eric Morrison on Facebook. Amen. The flyers are going to come out there. Those of you are out there, share this all over. We want to pack the place out. We want we want up to a thousand individuals to show out in the greater Kansas City area from all over, amen, to be able to be behind what God is doing. And I can say, uh, when I call prayer meetings, you're the pastor that show up. When we had a pastor, you're the pastor that show up, right? You and Bishop, the two bishops that yep. are there that show up in the prayer meeting or what have you, and even... Uh, when God spoke and had some of the elders of our church praying over you. And I remember standing up because we want some, listen, everybody know how I roll, right? We know that if Bishop, when Bishop gets to the governor's seat, he knows if Bishop even think about getting offline, we, Prophet Agent Blackstock will be at his door. Hallelujah. See, we want people like that. You know, these people that we vote in office and we don't have, we don't know them. We can't connect with them. Amen. You know, we got, we'll remind you of where you came from. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Yes. That's what we're needing. I believe that's what God is saying. He's doing a new thing. Amen. Have you not seen it in the name of Jesus? He said, I'll take the foolish thing of this world to conform the wise. And as yes. you said, COVID had to shift all of us. And so what you said, what the father said to you, that we're, we no longer need to have people that's leading us that don't have a revelation. Amen. Are leading us into sin. We want to take this. We need righteous men and women that know God in government. Let yeah. me say it again. We need righteous men and women that know, know God to be in government. What happened it with our, with our, th those that were behind us, we made this big separation between government and state, and that's how the enemy got in there, because then right. we were no longer at the table to hear what was going on. Come no, on. we need some bishops, some apostles, some real prophets, some evangelists, people sitting at the table so they can be there making um, decisions on behalf of our community, for our children, for our schools, amen, for our communities. We need to be at the table where you don't, the government don't change you, you change government. That's Hallelujah. right. Hallelujah. You don't get in there and bow down to like some people bow down and don't act like you know your God. No, yep. Jesus, we need people that still know that Jesus is Lord. We ain't gotta be in. A, we don't have to be in the courtroom and keep saying Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But your presence is Come gonna on. let it be known. Your presence, Hallelujah yes. to the Lamb of God. Listen, listen, uh, uh, prophetess. Uh, the Bible says in. First of all, let me say this to all the listeners. When she said, "Me and Bishop Blackstock," because I know intercessory. Uh, uh, you can't even call yourself a prophet or an apostle. Come on now, an intercessor. So. <laughs> You, you, that's, that's illegal. You got to, your, your life's around, your life's supposed to be surrounded by prayer. You, you, you ought to turn your radio off. You ought, you pray more than you read, uh, uh, because, because you got to stay, you got to keep your, your, your spirit sensitive to the voice of God. And that's only comes by communication. And so that means you got to stay in prayer. So you ain't no prophet. You ain't no apostle and you, <laughs> and, and you, are, and, and you, and you're not an intercessor. So when, when they call, when Gloria Fellowship, Bible Fellowship says that they can really have prayer service and, and I get that link and I get that hit, I'm with my prayer shawl 
I'm in my white, and I don't care what y'all say. I put on my white, and I get my prayer shawl, and I'm on the floor. And I told them, I'm, that, that ministry, I know if there's any ministry that's covering me, is that ministry right there with Prophetess Adrian Blackstock and, uh, and uh, Dr. Blackstock, Bishop Blackstock. I know they love, got my heart and all of that. So, so when we go into prayer, this is, this is what we, we know God is doing. It's so, so much confirmation has come. The Bible says this, prophetess, it says in Proverbs 29 and 2, the Bible says that when the righteous is in authority, the people rejoice. All mm, people. Yeah. So, so we, we going, we going to the, we going the to the righteous because Missouri is our Missouri. It ain't no one person. It ain't a rich person, a white person, an indigenous person's Missouri. This Missouri belong. It is our Missouri. And that's what we're going to, we're going to stake our claim in. This is Jesus said, when y'all pray, pray our father. Come on. You know Come on now. But he was teaching, he said, this, this is, he's everybody's father who respects him and who loves him. Now that's another, you know, that's another question. That's something else. But he still, whether you believe in him or want him to be, he's still our father. This is whether you want it to be or whether you don't want it to be, your Missouri is still our Missouri. And that's what we're going to declare. We're going to continue to declare it. We're going to continue to decree things in the in the earth realm as well as in the atmosphere and in the stratosphere that it's time for real leadership. It's time for genuine leadership to step in and, and cancel out on all of the all of the the the, the discrimination, the marginalizing, uh, everything that we see that brings a hindrance to the people's lives. We want quality. We want quality education. We want uh, uh, quality health care. You know what I mean? We need quality housing. We need people to be somebody there to know how to take care of everybody. And that's what I'm we to the kingdom. We're going to bring that to the capital because we, we represent the kingdom. Amen. So once again, on February 24th, a Saturday at 2 p.m. at Memorial Church located here in South Kansas City. The information is going to be out there on the GBFIC page. You can follow uh, Bishop Eric Morrison. We're going to, as they say, our Missouri, amen. And so as the father has spoken that word, when I got that word, and he said the residue of the people, and he's talking to the nation, we want to see an awakening and a shaking that's coming to the greater Kansas City area and the state of Missouri that's going to impact all of the Midwest. Now, Bishop, we know that we, it, it takes money. What? How can people sow? And because how does this campaign thing work? You know, see, we we know this is where we gotta we gotta get better at. How do we? How do we? We can we can show up, but we want to also put some funds behind. It. Yeah, that's 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 phenomenal. Thank you for bringing that up. I don't even know I had to jot it down because uh, we get called up and we be talking about the glory and we forget about. <laughs> Uh, 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 that 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 seed need to be sown too. So listen, you could go to ericdmorrison.com, ericdmorrison.com, and when you pull that up, our website, our, our political website is going to come up. That there's a there's a a, a link that's going to be out there. That when you click on the link, we need you to register too to be out there to come out there. Okay. Okay, we need you to register to be at the event, but also you can go there and make your financial contributions. Later on this week, there's going to be a text to give where uh, uh, we're going to be sending out text messages where you can give at any level, $5, $2. This is a grassroots effort. Those of you that have $10,000. $50,000. We need billboard signs of Eric Morrison throughout the state of Missouri to let them know that somebody that has the king's heart and who the king has. Ooh, yes, I love that. They need to know that this is who God has called for such a time as now. So spread it to all your friends. Go out there. Your $2 is not too little. Your $1 is not too little. Your 50 cent is not too little. You're sowing into good ground because this ground always gives. Thank you, Pat. And, and, and um, you know, I just heard this in my spirit. I woke up with this, and it came back in my spirit again. Mm. Cry Aloud Ministry will be sowing $500. We will be sowing $500, and I'm looking for other individuals to do the same $500,000. We, listen, we get behind this, amen, so that we can get the, the flyers and all this here stuff that count. Those of you that are coming, you bring your bring your funds with you, Amen. Whatever we need to do, we want to be able to show up. 
So, and that's what you said, fertile ground. Look, I, I woke up with this in my spirit. I'm not giving, I'm sowing. There's okay. a difference. Ha! Huh? See, the Holy Spirit, I woke up with that and didn't know why, why God was saying yeah. that. Now I know why. I'm not, that's one thing to get, I'm sown, amen, and I, I am a 100-fold return saint, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Well, Bishop, <laughs> anything else, we said we got two minutes um, that you want to be able to share with the, share with the people. N nothing else, but uh, uh, all our listeners, please don't forget to continue to keep Glory Fellowship Bible Fellowship in Prayer is a phenomenal, strong ministry, rooted and grounded in truth. Continue to pray for them. Continue to pray for Kingdom Word Ministries. Keep us lifted up. You all know that the enemy is not going to, he's not going to back down on this. But how many of y'all know that one can send a thousand to flight and two of us 10,000? So I need you to continue to pray for us. We're going to be decreeing and declaring. Get all your family, everybody out. We want to make a statement on the 24th that this campaign is a legitimate campaign and the candidate can with all the genius run a state amen and give that website again that website is ericdmorrison.com you can go to eric d morrison e-r-i-c d m-o-r-r-i-s-o-n dot com all one word and uh and our website comes up go to coming coming events click on coming up events and you'll see where you can register for the event on the 24th. And you'll also be able to see where you can sow into this campaign. Amen. So I thank you for being here. We will see you. We will be at the Prophet's Corner. I'm going to get you on there this month. And as we always say, Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. God bless. Thank you. God bless. If this broadcast has been a blessing to you. Feel free to partner with us by sowing a seed at gbfic.org or mailing a check to Morning Glory at 1126 Northeast Delta School Road in Lee Summit, Missouri, 64064. If you need special prayer of any kind, please feel free to call us at 816-795-1900. It's the Gospel 1590 